If he's the villain, like, why did they make him so attractive? Like, don't make me simp for the villain when he looks like that. I can't help it. Well, hello, people of the internet. My name is Kevin. Welcome back to another video. Okay, guys, so for today's video, I'm so excited because I'm going to be doing my commentary for the Shadow and Bone series. And I'm so excited because, if you guys know, I read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, which is the Six of Crows duology, which is part of the Shadow and Bone TV show. I read Six of Crows back in December of last year and I also read Crooked Kingdom in February of this year. Really enjoyed both of them. I definitely preferred Six of Crows and I do have reading vlogs for them so if you haven't seen them and I discuss all of my spoiler thoughts and reactions to the books I'll leave them linked down below so you can go check them out. And so obviously I've been then excited for the show because Six of Crows is part of the new show and I did read the first book Shadow and Bone in the Grisha trilogy years ago. I do not remember a lot about the book. Like I don't really remember that much that happens in it. All I remember is the Darkling being rude and there's something about like a stag and they're looking for this stag. That's pretty much all I can remember about the book. The only reason I don't remember too much about it is because I actually didn't really like it that much so I never continued on with the series but I think it's going to look better as a TV show. Like I have that feeling that it's just going to be so much better. I'm going to film my reactions and commentary to the first episode and also the last episode which is very similar to Dylan is in trouble. If you guys know Dylan's channel he does that quite a lot where he watches the first episode and the last episode of the show and he gives his commentary. However, I'm not doing it exactly the same as he does because I'm not going to only watch the first and last episode. I'm just doing my reactions only for those episodes, if that makes sense. Like, I'm going to watch the first episode, then off camera I'm going to go watch episodes two to seven and then come back and film my reaction to the finale, if that makes sense. So I am watching the whole show. I'm only just giving my reactions to episodes one and episode eight. But before we get into my commentary and reactions to the show, I do want to say that this video is being sponsored by Skillshare. So thank you once again, Skillshare, for sponsoring another video of mine. If you guys don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community full of thousands and thousands of classes ranging from a variety of different topics such as photography, illustration, journaling and design. There are so many classes on there for anyone and everyone who is looking for a new skill maybe to start developing or to maybe hone in on a skill that you already have and you just want to enhance it. The classes on there are super quick and easy and it's really easy to like fit them into your schedule because some of the classes in the lessons range from like five minutes to ten minutes so it's really easy to fit in like a couple of classes every day or once a week if you're able to do that and then gradually develop this new skill of yours. And a class that I would like to recommend to you guys is one that is actually going to help a lot of people who leave comments on my videos saying that they really want to get back into reading or they discovered my channel and now they're wanting to get back into falling in love with reading again. And that class is Seven Day Reading Challenge Read More Books This Year by Philippa Canelas. And the reason that I recommend this class is because it goes through so many different things about reading and like how to fall back in love with reading. Like Philippa goes through like finding the motivation to read again, finding books that will suit you and what you're in the mood to actually read. And also in this class it goes through like how to make reading a habit. It also goes through speed reading, like how to read faster and stuff like that. And I think this is just a really fun class. It's only one hour long for all of the lessons and I think it's a great way to like boost your productivity and to just fall back into the love for reading again. So if Skillshare sounds like something that you guys would be interested in yourself, the first 1,000 of you that click the link in my description will get a free trial at the Skillshare Premium Membership. And then once your free trial does end, it is still very extremely affordable with it costing $10 a month. So if this all sounds really good to you, I would just highly recommend that you check out Skillshare and thank you once again to them for sponsoring this video. Okay, I'm not even gonna like dilly dally around anymore. Does people even say dilly dally anymore? Anyways, I'm gonna get straight in to watching the first episode. I'm really excited. I obviously am very excited to see the crows like Kaz and Nej and Jesper. I know Wyland's not in the show, which makes me really sad. Also, big spoiler right now. There's gonna be spoilers for the show and the book. So, warning has been issued. <laughs> It's only the logo, and I just got so excited. When I was young, I was afraid of the dark. Oh my god, you could already tell the budget that this had. Yes, it's what it deserves, honestly. It's full of monsters. I learned about my true enemy when I was a child. Is it real? Of course it's real. The fold ate your parents. I'm sorry, but there's a tweet that Wit Cindy did about the fold, and every time it's going to be mentioned in this, I am not going to be able to, like, not laugh, because I'm going to be thinking about that tweet. I'll include it on screen, but, like, <laughs> that tweet, yeah. I'm old enough to know the only way out is through. <laughs> We are never going to see. Stop. 
budget. Mal isn't afraid of anything. I also know that's a big thing right now is like, are you team Mal or team the Darkling? I'm gonna wait and see because I've never read the rest of the books to know where I stand. So we'll wait and see where I fall. Wait a minute. Hello, Mal. Hello, Mal. Suddenly I'm interested. How about it? Just you and me. Obviously, if you don't know about Shadow and Bone, like, basically in this world, there's people, like, that have abilities, and they all, like, have different parts of them, and they're called the Grisha. So that guy that you just saw is someone who's able to, like, manipulate the air and wind and stuff. There's all these different people, and that was just an example of one of them. Found that because they put in my unit with yours again. They're looking for a way through the mountains. <sighs> so we're back together. They can't keep best friends apart for too long. Okay, kind of love Mal. Like, the bestie vibes with them. We stand. Five whole Kruger. What are you gonna do with foreign money? We don't care to damn. Oh, I don't crush me. <gasps> Can I love? Good. See, there's another example. Like, someone can use fire and then someone can use the air. Examples of Grisha. He talks about you all the time. What does he say? Oh, well. But don't listen to these two. They like to exaggerate. That's what they do. <laughs> oh, they love each other. Like, he's always talking about her. We stand. They need our help bringing those supplies back. So some of you will be assigned. Oh, now me. Selecting names for what I call the Nightmare Lottery. Oh my god, it's like the reaping. It's literally the reaping. I volunteer. Tracker, Malien Oretsev. Well, if it does work, I'll get to visit Keradam. Sorry, every time Keradam is mentioned, I'm like freaking out because... Oh my god, Keradam, oh my god, shh, shh, everyone shush. Why am I shushing you? Sorry, I did not mean to shush you, that was so rude. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. I literally just got goosebumps, oh my god. I'm about to freak out, look how red I have gone. Oh my god, where are they? Where are they? Where's, where's Jesper? Ah! So many coin can take a bullet, but the knock off. Oi, that wink, that wink. Busted. Not me dying over Jesper. If you guys don't know, when I read the books, Matthias was my, like, by it. Oh my god, this, 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 this. No loud noises at the table, Jesper. You scare off the pigeons. I was unsure about the casting for Kaz, but I'm already loving it. Where is Inej, though? She's gonna sneak up on him and be like, hey. She's gonna sneak in through that window. Here she is, here she is. Hello, Inej. What information do you have for me? Queen. Question is, what's worth a million Kruger to him? He's looking for a crew willing to cross the fold into East Ravka and bring back something. I only invest in the one of a kind. She isn't like you. No one is. No one is. I'm gonna cry. And we're literally about ten minutes in. We're gonna survive a round trip through the fold. We'll need a miracle or two. Okay, I kind of like how they're combining Six of Crows into Shadow and Bone. Because, like, in Six of Crows, they don't really go through the fold. It has nothing to do with that. Like, they get a heist mission to go get someone. So I think they're doing the heist thing, except it's going through the fold, which is obviously interlinking into Shadow and Bone. I kind of like how they're doing that. Zoya. I'm a scholar. Oh! I know that name. I'm pretty sure Zoya appeared in the in Crooked Kingdom. <laughs> ah, I found you. Okay, I ship them so much. They're so cute. They haven't even done anything that much, but I'm already shipping it. Look, Grisha women scare me. Okay. Little does he know, she is a Grisha herself. I do remember that from the first book. Don't cross it. Nightmares about it. I'm my parents. They're dead. I gotta cry. If it goes wrong, come back. I'll find my way back to you. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> not okay. Ah, oh, squad goals. Oh my god, the cane, the cane. It's right. him. I think the Darkling's coming. General Kirigan. The leader of the second army here to grace us with his presence. I'll be back before you know it. I love him so much. And I'll be here the whole time. Me. Me. That's me right there. I'll be here the whole time. Because I can't go anywhere else. She's obviously gonna sneak onto the boat and go with him. <laughs> the budget they had. I'm living for this. How are you doing here? 
we've been assigned with you. Get off this boat now, or I'll carry you off. Raise the gate! My heart's going pits of hats, pits of hats. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I'll make it. I don't know why, but I'm so intense right now because obviously they're going through it and I know the bull crap and everything are in here. It's going to be scary. I'm going to get scared, probably. I don't want anything to happen to Mal and Alina. You're an inferno, right? So why are you here if we're supposed to keep things dark? But when the dark comes to keep you. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm intense. I'm I'm tense. I'm so tense right now. Oh no. Something is bound to scare me. I spoke too soon. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Something's about to happen, something's about to happen, something's about to happen. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, the boat's on fire. Well done. The friend's gonna go. Bye bye. Yep. Come at me, you coward! Oh, she did say come at me, and he did come at her. Oh, other friends going now? Because that was smart. <gasps> nah, he's fine. He's fine. He's gonna be fine. This is where she's gonna unleash her power now because she's upset. I'll meet you at the meadow. No, no. <gasps> I think she snapped. Oh, it's the guy who got out. This is Alexi Stepper. Two weeks ago, Alexi here crossed through the fold. Oh, I get it. So they're after, they're gonna be going to get Alina. I bet that's who they have to go get is Alina. It would have been a total loss, but something happened. Yeah, they have to go after Alina. That's what it is. Tell me what happened in the fall. You won't believe me, but... Okay, Alina really popped off. This was his son summoned now. They're gonna kill him. Her name is Alina Stark. You'll set me free now. Thank you. Of course. I knew it. I knew it. The prize is one million Kruger. Now bring me. Alina Stockholm. Yeah, okay. I get the heist mission that they're doing. They're going after Alina. This actually makes a lot more sense to like integrate the two books, like two worlds. Okay, so overall, really enjoyed that. Like there was clearly, there's a lot of budget in there. I was very happy with that episode. I think it's a very engaging episode. Like if I wasn't a fan of the book, I would now want to continue watching it because I want to know what's going to happen next, which is always, I think is really important in your first episode is that you make sure people want to continue. I'm gonna go watch the rest of the episodes now and I'm gonna come back and film my reaction for the finale and then my overall thoughts for the entire show. Okay everyone, I am back and I have been watching Shadow and Bone all day and guys, so far, like I only have one episode left but I am so obsessed with this show and also Milo. Let's take a moment and just like appreciate Milo. Stan him, love him. Yes. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you've already seen the show. So all you need to know is I'm on episode eight. They are now heading back into the fold with the amplifier and everything. Her and the Darkling, they're going in and everyone's on board. Mal's on board. All of the crows, Inej, Jesper and Kaz, they're all on there. And also at the very end of the last episode, episode seven, the crows finally said no mourners, no funerals and I died and freaked out. Also finally another thing before we keep going is I really don't know which team I'm on. Like am I team the Darkling or team Mal? Because I honestly love both of them. I feel like I'm very fluid and I kind of just like whichever one I'm gravitating towards in that moment I go to them because honestly I say why can't we love both? Why does there have to be teams? Like can we not just love both? I, that's that's the way I want to go. But enough talking, I just want to watch the episode. Can you feel them? No heartbeats yet, sir. This is so intense. They're coming in. Yes. I should just tear this down now. And what can you really do when you're like... The Darkling is such, like, he's so not someone I should be attracted to, but Ben Barnes owns me and I can't help it. I am simping for him. We're in the worst place in the world on a ship full of people who want us dead, surrounded by monsters who want us in their gut. It's hard for you to put Milo. Who's Milo? The goat. Yes, it is. The goat. We love Milo. The general tell you something. Told me to have you stop the skiff before you reach the western docks. Why? To make sure there's an audience. I feel like I was supposed to pick up on what that meant, 
but I didn't pick up on what that meant. Oh my god, also, Matthias and Nina, we finally got them. I feel like their storyline might be confusing to anyone who hasn't read the books, but I understand obviously what's going on. I'm not done tormenting you. They're just cementing why they are my favourite ship from Six of Crows. Like, I love them so much. Thank you for saving me. I love them. Not the headrest. Oh my god, if he rests his head on her too, I'm going to lose my mind. I have only known two countries my whole life. What are the others like? Oh, the Wandering Isle. I can fit in there, no trouble. Have you ever met anyone from there? Oh my god, Irish accent! I'm also pretty sure that actress is actually Irish as well. Welcome to Grove. Are they about to kiss right now? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a normal. Mood. <laughs> the stomach growl ruins the moment. <laughs> They're more nearby. Is that why you haven't killed him? He's with me. Slaver! This man is a slaver who has taken me to be sold. Will you testify in court? I'll testify, yes. Take me with you to Ketterdam. Nina knows what she's doing. She's a smart queen. This is why I love her. I love how it's like this when they're getting ready to use the powers. They're like... <laughs> I don't know why. I just love it. No. <laughs> Remember who's driving. Well then. You know Alina? I do. Who's in control of her? The general I'm gonna kill. And Nesh give him his gun. Why? Because if he isn't with Kerrigan's crew, he's with ours. Oh my god, Mal joining the crows? I'm here for that. Destroy the fault. You said we could. And why would we destroy the fault? It's the greatest weapon that we've got. I'm so confused because I swear in the book there's like a really big moment that happens in the fold. I'm kind of confused what's happening right now, like where they're going with this. One more demonstration. Seeing what the Sun Seminar can do. Now bear witness to what I can do. Uh oh. No, I shall do mine. Oh my god, he's so stunning. He's actually so stunning. Uh oh. Oh my god, he's expanding it. No, you don't. Oh my god, that head tilt. If he's the villain, like, why did they make him so attractive? Like, don't make me simp for the villain when he looks like that. I can't help it. For who would oppose us now? Uh oh, Mal, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god, Inej is coming after him too. Oh my god. He could be useful to us. <clears throat> okay, he's not dead. He's not dead. We're okay. We're okay. They have the advantage. Only because I'm not in the game. Oh, yes, Jesper. L I honestly love him. Uh oh, he's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill her. He's I have to give that speech again. <laughs> I, I love him. I can't, I shouldn't, but I do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Yes, Soya. <laughs> Bye, honey. <laughs> He's gonna do something big. You stay in the dark. I'm so tense right now. Believe in me. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just got like Mufasa vibes showing up to Simba. I don't know why. It's just you and me now, Alina. She's about to do something to you. Oh my god, she's gonna chop off his hand. You may have needed me, but I never needed you. <laughs> yes. Yes. That queen. This is what I am. I am the one who killed the stag. Oh, I didn't understand before, but I do now. You cannot claim what was not given to you. 
The stag chose me. I was trying to save us. Uh oh. Oh no no no. Oh. Lads. I am so tense. <laughs> I can't be dealing with this. Uh oh. Oh that your man. Your man. I forgot what your man was there. Remember your place. Jasper's gonna kill him. Yep. Still couldn't shoot the pretty face. Oh. Doing. The way he just flicks the gun. I recommend we get moving. <laughs> me with any conflict in life. I recommend we get going. Did you really think you could kill me? I don't have to kill you, Doc. Oh my god, there's a Volker right behind him. Your past will do it for me. Alina, <laughs> come back to me, please. Alina. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> okay. There we go. Knew it. No need for the tears. Don't you dare say meet me at the middle. <gasps> this show, let me breathe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, now they're all a team. The dream team, honestly. Yes, I'm so here for this. All we need is Milo. We just need Milo to come back. Can be destroyed in the end. Just like him. We all know he's not dead. Why are we acting surprised? We all know he's not dead. You will tear it down. Just not today. Not today. She needs my help more than you. They love each other. I need you. <laughs> yes, he does. She's gonna stay with him for a little bit longer, okay. Oh my god, they're gonna end up on the same ship as Nina and Matthias. Matthias. Maybe? No. Probably not, actually. This was to save your life. They would have killed you. Meantime, we're headed to hell, Kate. Okay? Oh my god, this is so like Six of Crows. Like, Nina and Matthias' storyline is exactly like Six of Crows. Oh my god, they are ending up with the same ship. Just how this all started. We're gonna need a heart render. Well, on. <gasps> Nina's right there. When I'm strong enough, we'll come back and tear it down. Now Here we go. See, he's not dead. Watch, here we go. He's gonna crawl out. There he is. See? Knew he wasn't dead. Oh, well, we all knew that he wasn't dead. Follow. Is it actually gonna follow? <laughs> okay, and that's how that ends. What a cliffhanger to leave us anticipating season two. I'm hoping they announce that it's gonna be season two shortly. And overall, I think I would give this a eight out of 10 in my overall rating for the show. I loved so much about it. I thought it was a very entertaining show. I really, really enjoyed it. And of course I binged it in one day. The only reason I'm not giving it the full 10 out of 10 is because my main thing really from the show is that Kaz and just his portrayal in the show I wanted him to be a bit more badass and a bit more brutal. If you guys have read Six of Crows, you'll know what I mean when I say I wish he was a bit more brutal and just a bit more like badass because that's kind of what Kaz is known for and also just being the brains behind everything and like always figuring out everything. But I think we kind of saw that in the show, like with him coming up with all the plans and like setting everything up and everything. He was good at that in the show. But the part that was lacking for me with Kaz is that he just wasn't as brutal. Like in the books, he doesn't care about anyone. Like he will do anything to anyone that's going near anyone he cares about. And I just feel like we were missing that in the show. But maybe they they kind of like honed it back a bit so that Inej and Jesper could shine more. Which honestly, I understand and I do appreciate because I love Inej and I love Jesper. So I do love that we got to see a lot more of their characters. And of course, I'm assuming there's gonna be a season two. So hopefully in season two, Kaz will like go more into the badassness that I'm used to from Six of Crows. Other reason I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10 is because I'm assuming season two is just going to be even better. Eight out of 10 I think is a solid rating for the entire show. And yeah, I just really enjoyed it. There were so many different amazing things that just happened throughout it that I just really enjoyed. I loved Milo, as I already said, I really loved him. I loved the whole moment with the stag when they're in like the forest and like Zoya and 
the darkling and everything finds Mal and Alina. That was in episode 7 or 6, I believe. And I thought that was amazing. I also loved in episode 7 how we saw a bit more like the darkling's backstory and how he created the fold. Loved that episode and that moment. I thought that was just insane. I think as an adaptation as well, from what I can remember with Shadow and Bone, I don't remember every single detail about it because I literally read it back in 2014. I think it was a solid adaptation. Like I honestly think it was a really, really good one. So I'm just overall very excited. I loved it. Let me know your guys' opinions down below. Have you watched the show? What did you think of it? Did you think it was a good adaptation? Do you also agree with me what I said about Kaz? I would just love to know. Also, let me know, are you team The Darkling or team Mal? Or are you like me where you're just like, both <laughs> because I think that's where I lie honestly. So yeah I think that's gonna be it for this video. I do want to thank Skillshare once again for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out the link in my description because the first 1,000 of you that click that link will get a free trial at the Skillshare premium membership. Other than that that's gonna be it for this video guys and I shall see you all next time in my next one. So goodbye guys. I'm gonna need